Hello besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malik and I'm your new bestie. And guess what, I'm gonna be telling you how to get your crutch like you back. Purr. So it's no secret that nobody wants to die alone. And I know you're thinking about like, Malik, Malik, what, what are you talking about? I am talking about, I'm gonna tell you how to get your crutch like you back. Okay bestie, yeah. Or if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend already, I'm gonna tell you how to, how to keep them liking you. Whatever it makes more sense. So if you don't want to die single, then I advise you to take some notes. Matter of fact, let me take some notes as well because I don't want to die single neither. Make sure you subscribe and like this video so you will never miss an upload, okay? Sub with notifications on too. Yeah, let's get started. Number one, put yourself out there. I know, I know, it can be a little scary putting yourself out there. But trust me, there's scarier things. Like imagine you fart in front of your crush, wouldn't you not be scared? And imagine they smelt it as well, like, oh god. Not at all, boy! Or imagine you pull a Will Smith and you slap someone for your crush in front of them. And they don't appreciate it. Like, how salty will you be? Like, imagine they just look mad and embarrassed instead of like, oh my god, my king, my, um, yes, thank you. But anyway, sometimes you gotta make the first move, but never let them know your next move. And yes, that is a TikTok reference. You also gotta remember, your crush is not a mind reader. I can read minds. <laughs> no, you can't. So Ali definitely can't read your mind. No, this isn't really happening. It is really happening. Sometimes they can't figure out on their own. Think of a number. Uh, number seven. Mm -hmm. Uh, purple. Purple. Our worst nightmare. Hippopotamus riding a bicycle. What's your name? Wednesday. What's yours? I don't want to tell you. Hello, Peggy. So they can't read your mind and figure it out on their own. So what you can do is like ask them out on a date. It could be like just a study date or something like that, or maybe to the movies, who knows? Because if you don't and someone else asks them out, congratulations, you played yourself. What you need to do is go out your way and talk to them. Invite them to watch a movie with you or something like that. Once they see that you like them, they might return the same feelings to you. Matter of fact, they will return the same feelings because guess what, we're manifesting over here. So we gotta speak into existence, bestie. And everything will fall into place. So do not wait around for years for your crush to notice you. Make things happen. Another thing you should do is spend time with them, but don't overdo it. And I know you're thinking, no shit, Malik. Do you think I'm dumb? Yes, I do. Like just a little bit because you're watching this video, right? No, I'm playing bestie. I, I love, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't beat me up. Try to be around your crush as much as possible without coming off too strong. And um, but Malik, how am I gonna do that? That's a very good question, person that looks just like me. Some of the things you can do is sit next to them at lunchtime or ask them to be your gym partner or even suggest hanging out with them on the weekend. Um, um but I'm not a dog. I mean like, that's not what you said last night. <laughs> The one-on-one -on -one time will give you a chance to get to know each other. Who knows, you guys might find something you're both passionate about or like a, a shared hobby. Listen to your crush. This might be a hard one for some of y'all. I get it, talk about yourself, make you feel so good, now don't it. But nobody cares about you. Bestie, I'm playing. You are amazing, you are awesome, and I love you to death. So if nobody told you already, you are freaking fantastic, okay? 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 And you're special. Real special. <laughs> Of course you should share info with your crush about yourself, but make sure you also listen to your crush. When you guys are hanging out together, stay off your phone. Ask them some questions and stay engaged. And again, make sure you're listening to them. Take notes of what they're saying. Your crush will appreciate it if you guys wish them an amazing day. Or for example, if your crush was talking to you about a test that's coming up and you remember that and you'd be like, oh yeah, baby girl, mm -hmm. I wish you best of luck on the test. They're gonna remember that. And they're gonna be like, oh my God, she or he or she, he, whatever you go by, really remembered that I have a test. Oh my God, she must like me. So remember, put effort into getting to know the person. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and remember to subscribe, bestie. Purr. If you don't subscribe, I might give you the cheese touch. And that is a promise. I will be uploading every Wednesday and every day that I get a chance to upload. If, um, I don't know if you guys like this video, but. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Make sure you go watch my other videos too.